I'm sure I'm not the only one who forgets why they walked into a room and then has to leave the room and retrace what it was they were looking for, only to figure it out as soon as they go back to the room that they were originally in. This is what the encoding specificity principle is all about. When it is easier to retrieve memories if our environment is the same as when we encoded the memory. It is broken up into two categories, context-dependent and, and state-dependent. Context-dependent is your physical environment. For example, if you study with a group of friends in the library, then you should take your test in the library surrounded with your friends. State-dependent is your internal state. For example, if you are happy or if you are enjoying a nice cup of coffee while studying, then you should be drinking coffee while you are taking your test. An example is when my son was in first grade, his teacher would encourage him to have snacks when he was studying at home and then again when he was in the classroom. So we always had pistachio nuts and cheese available for him. This made a huge difference in his test taking, but I never really realized it until now. One last example that really hits the subject home is about studying while drunk. According to the YouTube video we watched, Memory Errors, Forgetting, and Learning 2019, there was a study done on students that studied while drinking and then took a test. I'm still in shock by the results. I don't exactly endorse drinking and studying, but I do endorse our mindset and location to help with your ability to memorize while you are learning. I hope you now have a grasp on of the encoding specificity principle. Thanks.